Ladies and gentlemen, as an Arsenal fan, I am looking forward to trying out this objective. Shapeshifters, Pepe, lads, if you guys are new to these objective guys, basically all new player objectives and most of the new pack objectives, depending on how hard they are, we'll go over, make a video, go through my step-by-step -step guides with some in-game examples slash tutorials if necessary, and then we go ahead and build you guys a squad builder that you can use along the way, answering some questions we commonly get asked. Lads, if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe it is completely free make sure to check out my davis place clip channel and twitch links as well all of those links are in the bio without further ado boys let's get into it so shapeshifters pepe you will be doing in the shifting shape live foot friendly which we'll go ahead and have a look at in a second but first of all you've got score two outside of a box goals in the live foot friendly now outside of a box goals can get a little bit rough so what i've gone is i've gone ahead and built up a uh, an in-game example of what to do now essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let your opponent get some goals by offside trapping your defenders by pressing down on the d-pad the very bottom arrow on the d-pad offside trap your defenders and then you can move your keeper or you can just spam slide tackle so your opponent can get through let him score a goal and see if he does the same for you you may want to flick him a message and say hey man uh, if, if you get the outside the box goals can i do the same for you here is an in-game example of me doing this and just, just to let you know that, that my opponent now i did this with had no correlation to i didn't know him before going into the game just load into a random game i gave him his goals and he did the same for me so here's an example so let's just put this into an example for you guys this was me playing the bundesliga best game mode to do flashback solar i know when you're watching this it may be a while in the future but the example the same the same thing still stands right so when it comes to an outside of a box goal or something like that where, where you kind of need some help and it'll be quite hard to do without your opponent's help literally what you want to do is just let your opponent have a goal straight away so he kind of knows that or you could offside trap it something like that just so your opponent knows that in fact you are going to be you know giving him his objectives and hope that he does the same for you here's a few examples for you lads so what i am doing when my opponent gets a ball i am double tapping on the the left pointing down arrow on the d-pad and i'm trying to offside trap my defenders and bring them up as you can see it kind of failed a little bit there but i'm giving my opponent the ball again and i'm going to literally get him the ball there we go we give him the ball right i'm going to move my keeper you can move your keeper by pressing down on the right toggle stick and moving it to the left or the right so i've moved my keeper my opponent's got a goal and he knows and now look he knows he he knows that i just gave him a goal so he's now going to let me get this defender assist and also the sane long shot so i have my mukialu who's my defender give it to my sane so boom he's given me that we basically did this back and forth until we both got all of our long shots done we just went from offside trapping moving the keeper i he got his objectives done then he did the same for me tit for tat assist five goals using attackers in the live foot friendly uh, now assist five goals with a striker center forward right wing left forward uh, left wing or right forward so basically wingers strikers center forwards is what classes as an attacker win five matches and score using English players in eight separate matches so this looks like a relatively easy game mode I feel like after you get the two outside of the box goals you could simply go ahead and do golden goal for the rest which we'll get into later but let's go ahead at least go and have a look at the shifting shape live foot friendly and let's see what it is all about go on play online obviously it should be probably one of the first ones or maybe over a little bit where is it uh shape shit what's it called is it not here have ea really forgot to put it in ea have forgot to put it in <laughs> classic ea classic classic ea huh classic ea now I have refreshed, it's been like 7 or 8 minutes and EA have not released it, meaning I don't know the game mode, which means I'll not be able to make you guys a squad builder for today. It's a classic EA thing, I don't know why. Um, they should be taking an hour or so, usually it takes them like an hour um, to, you know, fix this. And if they do, I'll keep a pinned comment down below when, when they do update it. But instead, you guys, if you watch these objective guys, guys, you will know how the usual procedure goes when it comes to making a team. So whatever the requirements may be, you just got to keep checking friendlies and hopefully soon EA will release the I think shapeshifters game mode or whatever it's called right when they release that team it will come up with some requirements whether it be players from the same league at most eight players from a at least you know minimum league seven who knows EA like to switch it up when it comes to the objectives all right so when it comes to the squad builder once I cannot build you guys a set squad builder that you can use now basically what you're going to want to do we'll still get into the like you know the scheme of things um now you want to make your squad and I will get into the golden goal rule 
all in a second as for, for that tip and we'll still get into the tips and tricks like we usually do it but I just want to say this now for the usual obviously objectives guide for the whole objectives the point of this Pepe you need to score with English players in separate matches right so personally what I would do is choose your two English strikers now for me my two favorite English strikers to use on this game number one is going to be Antonio because he's kind of got like that lean body type in game he's 5'10 I think he's got a unique or a lean body type I'm not too sure but four star skill moves he's nothing crazy but he'll definitely get the job done so you just want to have some Englishmen up front so you can obviously get the English goals because that's the most important thing is to get those English goals that's the whole point now if you do have the coinage you could go for a Jamie Vardy but he has around 10,000 coins and obviously we want to keep the squad builder relatively budget so we'll go for Ollie Watkins so what, what I'd personally do is have the striker partnership of the two English boys to get the objectives done now as for the rest of the team I'm not sure on the requirements so I can't go ahead and give you guys my tips on that but if you can use any team if you can just use any Premier League players what I personally like to do is go and press left bumper go ahead to gold rear select a position the specific league for me it'd be Premier League and then I'll set the price to a max by now of 2,000 coins now Luis Diaz for 2,000 coins looks absolutely great so obviously some positions you might have multiple players right so if you go midfielder 2,000 coins gold rear you've got Sochek who doesn't really look the best on Denka is probably a player I would often use um, because I mean he's relatively fast you want pace especially in this game mode right now once again I am not too sure on the requirements for this objective you may be able to have any team in the game and just need some English strikers therefore you could go ahead and use your main team when EA do update the uh, friendlies I will have a pinned comment with a squad builder that you guys can use all right lads but at least nonetheless head into the tips now tip number one is simply going to be a golden goal. Now, after you get the outside of the box goals, which I got, I showed you guys the example for that, after you get the outside of the box goals, let's say you get it in the first or second game, you're still going to have to try get English goals and like win three other matches. You're going to need to score using English players in like six other games. Now, what you're going to want to do to speed up the whole process is golden goal. Now, if you are going to be participating in golden goal, make sure to change your team name to golden goal. So when you do load into a game, your opponent will see your team and you'll be like sweet this dude's doing golden goal I might do the same now if you're wondering what golden goal is no it is not going to be played in the golden goal friendly game mode I know some people get confused with that it is going to be played in the shapeshifter game mode now not everyone will be doing golden goal right but basically it's an unspoken community rule if you score first your opponent is going to pause and back out um, if you concede first you will pause and forth of the match this is only if you want to and not everyone will be doing golden goal but I do recommend it because it will speed up the process a whole lot for everyone involved. You can get five or six games done by the time it would usually take you to get like one full game. It's absolutely incredibly efficient. Um, you could probably get this Pepe done if you get the outside of the box goals and using the example I showed you in the intro, someone like helps you get the outside of the box goals and you do the same for them, them and you just do golden goal for the rest of the English goals, etc. Then I'm not going to lie boys, this, this objective will probably only take you like maybe an hour and a half, even maybe maybe an hour depending on uh, the, the people you come up with and your luck when it comes to matchmaking. Now let's go ahead and head on over to the footbin view for tip number two. Now if you do decide to build a team, obviously once again depending on the team you have to build regarding the requirements. Um, now in my opinion chemistry styles are absolutely crucial for this especially if you are having to use some gold rear players right if you if you can use your main team chemistry styles aren't as important but if you do need to use some gold rear players or if you can't afford the high tier boys like say antonio for example 100 percent you want to go ahead and get a chemistry style on them. Now, big ups, Footbin. I am not sponsored, just simply using these lads as an example. But for example, every single card comes with a basic chemistry style on it. And assuming that player is on full chem, he'll get some plus threes and plus fours throughout on his stats, right? Now, basically, as you can see, he's an 82 rated striker in game. But you go ahead, a marksman, boom. Just like that, a marksman makes him an 85 rated striker. Gives him plus eight shooting, plus eight dribbling, and plus six physical. So although he's 79 rated, rated he's going to be performing as if he's an 85 rated card in game all right lads so tip number two tip number one is golden goal tip number two chuck the chemistry styles on the players if you haven't already that chemistry style difference could like that chemistry style you have on your players if your opponent doesn't have the chem styles on his players that could be the difference between you winning and losing now let's go ahead just recap over the objectives real quick now the score two outside of the box goals obviously going off of the uh the in-game 
example I showed you guys earlier. Assist five goals using attackers, which is going to be your two strikers. Um, obviously, a left wing, right wing, left forward, right forward does count, and a center forward as well does also count. Win five matches in a shifting shape game mode, which is still not in the game, and score using English players in eight separate matches. So as I said, after you get the outside of a box goals, you just want to try work on the assist five goals with tack uh, attackers, and then do golden goal for the rest. This shouldn't take too long. Once again, uh, check my pinned comment to see if EA do eventually release these uh, the, the slide foot friendly mode, which they, for some reason, somehow forgot to release. Ladies, much love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.